This next episode of Trivia in Chief is about a sixth president, John Quincy Adams, and his role in the founding of the Smithsonian. John Quincy Adams was born shortly before the beginning of the American Revolution. He was the first president of a middle name, and he was named for his grandfather, John Quincy. As a child, he witnessed the Battle of Bunker Hill. When he was 11, he moved to Europe with his father, when his father became the U.S. Commissioner to France. When he was 14, he became Secretary to the U.S. Minister to Russia, and he served as a secretary during the negotiations for the Treaty of Paris, which ended the American Revolution. In 1794, John Quincy Adams was appointed U.S. Minister to the Netherlands. In 1802, Adams was elected to the U.S. Senate, which began his political career. In 1817, James Monroe made Adams his Secretary of State. One of his largest accomplishments while holding this office was negotiating the Adams Honest Treaty, which made Florida a U.S. territory. He also negotiated an 1818 treaty with Great Britain, but set the United States' northern border. Adams became president in the election of 1824, after running against prominent politicians John C. Calhoun, William Crawford, Henry Clay, and Andrew Jackson. During his one term in office, Adams remained political opponents with Andrew Jackson and his supporters. Adams' main goal in office were educational and scientific, as he wanted to establish a national university and an observatory. Sadly, his efforts failed. Adams was approached by a man named James Cleves Symes Jr., who had a radical idea he hoped the president would support. Symes believed in the hollow earth theory, and felt the entrance to the inside of the earth was at the North Pole. Symes asked Adams to send 100 men and supplies to travel through Siberia to find the Earth's center. Adams shockingly approved the idea, but the plan was stopped by Adams' successor, Andrew Jackson, before the expedition could be launched. After losing the 1828 presidential election, Adams retired to Massachusetts. In 1830, he was elected a member of the U.S. House of Representatives as a member of the Anti-Masonic Party. Adams served in Congress for the rest of his life. In 1835, James Smithson of England left $500,000 to the United States. Smithson's will specified it be used to found at Washington under the name of the Smithsonian Institution, an establishment of the increase and diffusion of knowledge. John Quincy Adams fought to make sure the money was used for this purpose, and served as chairman of a committee to determine exactly how the money should be spent. Ultimately, it was decided to create a museum. In the 1840s, Adams became the first president to sit for a photograph. There are two pictures which are claimed to be the first. One was taken during a trip to Niagara Falls in 1843. Adams actually described the trip to the falls in his diary, and he stated, I stopped, and four daguerreotype likenesses of my head were taken, two of them jointly with the head of Mr. Bacon, all hideous. The other was done inside Adams' house, and shows him seated. On February 21st, 1848, Adams was speaking on the U.S. House floor, speaking against ceremonial swords for officers who served in the Mexican-American War. During his speech, he suffered a stroke, and died two days later inside the Capitol building. John Quincy Adams helped expand our nation, and to define its borders. He also tried to advance our knowledge, through journeys to the center of the earth and the founding of the Smithsonian. The next president was Adams' political rival, Andrew Jackson. Thank you.